Are you ready to discover who you came here to be? Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. Human Design is a system and a tool that is here to empower you and show you your greatest potential. Come learn with us and discover who you really are. Hello, Human Design and Astro Club. Crystal here, and I want to let you know about some new offers that I have cooking in my kitchen and Leah has selected in her market. Some offers we've had for a while and some are brand new, and you might be hearing it here first. So listen closely. Our first offer is completely free. Yep, that's right. We have put together basically a cheat sheet to help you honor your strategy and authority. And with both Lee and I having the channel of surrender, we have developed tips and tricks to helping you really align to your design. And it's called Tips and Tricks to Honoring Your Strategy and Authority. And you can pick that up in the show notes down below. Now, our second offer is the next level up. After you've been honoring your strategy and authority, you then want to understand the details of your chart. You want to understand the details of learning the language of human design. So we've come up with a manual called Your User Manual to Your True Self. And we've created very easy to understand images and key terms on what makes up human design and the human design chart. If you're looking to understand your chart, the body graph, and the key terms of human design, this manual is for you. And you can pick it up in the show notes down below. Now, our next offer for you is on the variables or like what we like to call the four transformations. And we've created mini easy to digest a la carte and bundles on determination, which is your unique eating style, cognition, which is your super sense and the way your body interprets frequency, and then environment, which is where you feel whole, complete, and where you will reach your version of success on this material plane. You can pick up your variable class or bundle in the show notes down below, and please make sure you are on our email list for our variable intensive that's starting in spring. A wait list will be dropping very soon. Our next offer is our kids class called Nurture Your Child Through Their Design. And it's all about the energy types through the lens of a child. This is a great for anyone who wants to better understand how to support your child's design or even the little you um, and help you nurture that inner child. This is also great for beginners because it gives you cut and dry explanations with real life experiences of each energy type as a child. We also have a guidebook that breaks everything down and we've added a bonus nervous system regulation cheat sheet through the variables so you can discover that and more in the show notes down below. Now, There's two more brand new offers, so listen up. Leah and I have been meeting you guys on this podcast week after week for the last year, sharing the transits only for that week. And we wanted to better prepare you guys and take it to the next level. We are now introducing the Program Plus, which is very similar vibe to the weekly program, but we have a full monthly forecast now that you can pick up on our website for only $11.99. Yeah, that's right. It comes with an hour-long detailed audio on information on how to align to your design and take aligned action for the month through the transits plus a forecast calendar and a guidebook that comes with new moon, full moon rituals, and more. Pick this month's forecast up down below in the show notes. Now, our last offer is dropping the month of October, so make sure you are on our email list to be the first to pick up our three-part class called A New Direction 2027. This is a three-part class chock full of detail on what is happening after 2027, because after 2027, the entire planet is going to 
go through a completely new cycle and the solar plexus will be breaking down as well as new beings will be born that will be known as the raves. You will surely want to know this information and prepare for what's to come. Make sure you are subscribed to our email list to be notified when it drops or you can pick it up in the show notes down below. And while I have you here, we have a lot of free resources on human design over at the humandesignastro.com website. Now listen, I'm going to stop open throating here and I'm going to let you dive into this next captivating episode. So thank you so much for being here, friends, and I'll see you over there. Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. I'm Crystal. And I'm Leah. And this is the podcast you've been waiting for. To the point where I I can't be like I'm not serious at all while I'm doing our dance moves and people are, when you hear those pauses I just because for the people that are not watching on YouTube I guess we should tell you I don't know if you know I feel like we basically said it at this point if you do not know we have a YouTube and so we've been dancing for our YouTube friends. <laughs> So the little music break is also a dance break. So you yeah, can join us. It's a dance break. So if you're on YouTube and you're watching us, you can <laughs> dance with us. It's a very, you know, generator thing. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not a generator, just dance, you know, join me in my rhythmic movements. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought it would be funny to do that. And then we did notice though, because we've been mentioning, hey, we do have a YouTube. We stopped mentioning it for like months. Like just assuming you guys knew about it, but I think I'm starting to realize maybe the majority of you did not know because Mm -hmm. now we see a little less listeners on the actual podcast, but we see people jumping over to YouTube. Are you over at YouTube now? Are you guys flip-flopping? Come on over. Give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. Thumbs up, give us a like, let us know what you got from the episode. You'd love same, to about it. same for, you know, like if you're listening on Spotify or Apple, like give us a review, let us know what you like about our episode or, um, why you came over to listen to us. That might be fun. Like how you found us. That oh yeah. Cool. Tell us how you found us. I feel like for the majority of people, I have no idea. A lot of people say they, I guess they Google or not Google, they type in, in the search, like human design and we pop up. That's what I've heard a lot of times. Yeah or people have shared us with you. Thank you for people that have been sharing us with their friends, lovers, and whatever else is out there. I don't know. Would you used to say a stranger in the grocery line? <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys are sharing it with a stranger in the grocery line, because I feel like that would be fantastic mm-hmm. to do that. But so if you're new here, welcome. Whether you found us through a friend, podcast, YouTube, Instagram. Those are pretty much the only places we are. (laughs) So if you found us on any of those platforms, welcome. Thank you for finding us. We are so happy you were here. We like to say, and as you know, if you've been listening to us for a while, this is a podcast for a bunch of weirdos. We're not trying to uh, hide ourselves over here. If anything, things are going to progressively, as I've been, I say this a lot on my Instagram, Things are progressively going to get weirder. We're not, there's no going backwards. It's just going to keep getting bigger, better, Mm -hmm. and more beautiful. We've got actually a lot of fun stuff happening. Uh, Stuff we're going to have to wait to fill you, fill you in on. Um, But if you're new here and you're like, what is this? What's the program? That's exactly how you say it, right? What's the program? (laughs) Well, the (laughs) program. What's up? The program is a weekly transit update from Monday through Sunday. So Ra you has talked about the transits being the program, meaning this is what we're tuning into every every second, every minute, 
every hour, every day, every week, every month, and every year. As the, it's like, as the wheels turn, you know, like, what, what, um, wait a second. What a soap opera was it's that? It's like a day, daytime drama. Days it's of our like, lives. Days these, of our lives. These, these are, are the transits of, of our lives. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as the wheels turn, as the mandala turns, these are <laughs> Are the days of our lives. I was on the other one. Sorry to interrupt where you were like the days, the months, the years. And I was like, I'll be there for you. <laughs> Transits yeah. will be there for you. They will be, or they will haunt you in your dreams. Your choice. That's true. <laughs> it's your choice. And that's, see, the thing that happens when you come into the awareness of transits and realize, oh shit, they are actually programming us, right? We talk about um conditioning we talk about influence they are influencing us whether we like it or not and it's like what episode are we tuning into this week is it a drama is it a comedy is it a dramedy who knows only you'll find out as the wheels turn okay so that's what we do for every week. And it's called the program. So you'll get to see what episode we're tuning into for the week. Maybe I should start. You know what? Maybe next. I'm not doing it on this one unless it, if it comes to me, I'll blurt it out. Okay. As per usual, because that's what I do. I'm going to open throw. Um, but if it doesn't come to me, I'll do it next week. Maybe I will start telling you <laughs> what, uh, what uh, genre <laughs> we are in for the week. Um. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of what this one is kind of like a lighthearted, expansive episode that we'll be tuning into this week, a little more lighthearted. There's a lot of, I, I'll say opportunity. This is a, I feel like this is going to be a very op opportunistic week. So not only do we have the program, but we also have the program plus for anybody that doesn't know or has been interested we have the program plus so it is a bigger better bolder version of the program where you're getting the entire monthly forecast with detail we go through the transmissions we go through the gates we go through um all the major players for the month and how they're going to be impacting you and then we also have a guidebook that you get a calendar you get an actual calendar and it has all of the sun and earth gates for the entire month any major dates that we talk about for the month also get put in there. And also uh, the moon signs, what, th what, what signs are traveling through the moon every two and a half days. We put that in there as well. We also have rituals for new moons and full moons, crystals, uh, crystal grids, body graph grids. We've come up with a configuration with, with uh, my friend Nina, who you'll be hearing a little bit more about soon because we are, we're, we're working on something. It's coming. That's all I'll say. There's something in the works. And so we have crystal grids with crystal grid activations. We have altar suggestions. I mean, it is jam packed. We also have um, tarot connected to human design gates. That's something you will never get. I'll say on the program, I would get the program plus just for that, because I think that when we, when you pull that card, it for the last two times, because this is the second month that we've done this. It's connected to an important gate that's happening in the transits for the month. And mm -hmm. I think that's fantastic. It, it shows you that there, it, there is a thread that runs through human design tarot and uh, astrology. So if that's something you're interested in, you can pick up the month of November. It's not too late because actually the nodes are going to shift at the end of this week. And we'll get into a brief understanding of that, but I will not be going into depth because I went into depth on, on the program plus, and there's some things that I want to um, allow my defined heart to reach appreciation through other elements. And we give you guys a lot on here and I want to give you guys the, op we, we, we want to give you the guys, excuse me, we want to give you guys the opportunity to exchange with us. And so that's what the program plus is an opportunity to exchange. I think it's important that people get compensated. I want, I, I really want to get clear on this. And this is something I think maybe we're going to talk about more in the future. I really want people to feel empowered to get compensated 
for their genius, for for their uh, for for what they're here to share with the world. You sh- there should be an equal exchange. And as much as we love coming on here week after week, we are defined hearts, and it's extremely important. And I, I I speak to my defined hearts out there. It is extremely, and I want to try not to get too loud because I have a new mic and I don't know that it's it's got a lot more power than my last mic. <laughs> so it is extremely important. I can't stress that enough. I want to say it louder, but I'm not going to. Extremely important that defined hearts get proper exchange for their value. I'm not saying that open undefined hearts shouldn't, but they're only 35% of the population are defined hearts. And we are what provide the value to the material world. And it's important that for us to function efficiently, this is how we function efficiently. There needs to be proper energy exchange. I've done things in the past because I've also had um, another business that I did hair and makeup professionally um, for 14 years. And I've done stuff in the past where I gave too much away without the, the, the balance of the exchange back to me. And I got very sick. Our defined hearts are connected to the spleen. The spleen is the immune system. So if you have the channel of the entrepreneur, specifically, I'm speaking to you guys right now, because we, this is what we have. Leah and I both have the channel of the entrepreneur, and it's extremely important that there is compensation for your goods for your value, extremely important. And I now honor that. I'm not going to stop selling to you guys because I I want you to feel empowered to exchange with me to then for it to then pour into you for then for then you to pour into another. That's the, that is, that is the real act of sharing. And that's something that I'm going to get into when I get that Kabbalah part uh, episode Mm -hmm. post blog, all of it. I, ha- I, I I wrote it all out. And then I was like, this is extremely long and maybe compli- complicated, <laughs> maybe a little too complex. And so I want to try to, uh, I want it to reach people in a way that they're going to be able to digest it. So when I get the time to work on it, you'll know when it, it's coming out. You'll it, When I title something with Kabbalah, you'll know that's that's the episode about what Kabbalah is and what the real act of sharing is, which I don't know. What do you, how do you feel about that channel, channel of surrender as well? Hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm definitely working on that too. Like <clears throat> I feel like I might kind of be conditioned to like overgive mm-hmm. to allow myself to just give people and be like, no, it's okay. Like I don't require anything. And then after a while I get kind of like, because it's projected, I get kind of bitter, you know, I get like, oh man, like now it doesn't feel good anymore because now I feel like I'm not getting anything in return. I think, yeah, specifically the only time that I really, before human design, before I knew what it was specifically, I remember when I did my fitness coaching and people weren't doing the same amount of work as me, Mm -hmm. or they weren't, you know, showing up for anything, even though they paid for it, or they weren't, Um, They said they would do something and they wouldn't. I would be like, like, it kind of hurts my feelings that you're not putting in the amount of effort and I'm putting an effort into you, but you're not giving any effort back to me. So either tell me, are you going to do this or not? Like, I don't care either way, but I kind of need to know. So I stop putting in, you know, extra amount of work on this end. Um, And I feel like that can kind of, probably hurt feelings, especially if they were an open, undefined heart. And I recognize that now Mm -hmm. as being like a little bit harsh, like if they weren't, if they didn't have the capacity to give back um, or to show up because they overcommitted and I get that now. So it's really important, I think for us to be like, I know my boundaries and I recognize that I need to set those. And it's also important for the other to set the boundaries too, because it's, it can be really painful and it can also be kind of hard for us to see that, especially yeah. if you don't have any awareness around it. Oh, the, I think even people that, can I say something real, a, a truth here? And you guys can take it for whatever you want. I think even people that think they have awareness around this don't actually have awareness around this. 
because if you actually understood the proper energy exchange and what the real act of sharing it is, sharing is it's 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 where you are able to receive to give mm -hmm. it's about receiving to give and it's such a hard mental com concept to digest because we've been conditioned by mostly open undefined hearts to either prove your worth right um there's a lot of inflation that's where inflation comes from from the yeah, open work, undefined work hearts. harder climb the ladder work harder but also charge more mm -hmm. charge an exponential amount that shows that you're worthy because you're at this price which yeah. is also not real or true so there's a there's like a middle ground that we haven't found i i truly hope we do and i want i want to i want to kind of like poke at these areas with people because we have such a comp uh, such a complex one with people even selling something we had someone tell us that they didn't like that we we uh basically when we put out the november program plus that the day that we put that out they didn't like that we talked about it and it's stuff like that i want to be very clear it's stuff like that that keeps people small that you that that people one feel like then oh no i guess i shouldn't sell my 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 gifts or i shouldn't sell my creations or whatever it is you know i shouldn't sell my products because this person said they don't want to hear me talk about it yeah Fuck like i'm too shit. excited so i shouldn't be so excited that i created something yeah because somebody doesn't want to hear it <laughs> You should be excited to want, if, if you're not, here's the thing. If you're not excited about your offers, no one else is going to be excited either. Yeah. And the right people are going to flock to you and want to hear about the next thing you're selling. That's mm -hmm. what I've learned is that the right people for you want to hear what you have to actually offer them because this free stuff on here, it's beautiful. It's great. We don't want to stop doing it. We want, we always want to still give you over give you guys in a lot of ways but there has to be an exchange at some point especially for the defined hearts so if you're out there and you're an entrepreneur and you have fear around selling your goods your gifts your your resources your products there there's going to come a time where you're going to have to say fuck it that I am going to tell you about what I have to offer you, or you might as well shut up, sh shut, shut up shop, shut up shop. That's what I was, sh shut the shop up. <laughs> Words. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, I, I, I just, I, I want to continue to talk about this stuff because if there's such a stigma mm. around money mm. and people selling their goods especially because we're be we're coming into a time where I think more and more people and we're seeing that are starting their own businesses because they want to share their self-expression. They want to share the, uh, the, this, this inner love, this inner desire, their, their passions, you know, their ambitions with other people and they, and they want to be seen for them. Like, you know, working at a fucking office job where you're, you're, uh, you know, twiddling your thumbs and like wor working for, you know, companies that you don't, that don't even care about you. That doesn't feel good anymore for people. So I want to empower you guys to actually get your word out there to actually share your goods with, without feeling cringe that someone's going to say something to you. Like somebody said to us. And so, but thank you for that person for saying that because you've now empowered me to want to have this conversation with people. So thank yeah. you for doing that. I appreciate yeah. it. And it bring, also bring light to that sort of thought, that conversation, you know, it's important to have the conversation from both aspects of it too. Yeah. And I get where they were coming from. Yeah. I get that they don't want to listen to just to a free, get it free platform that we're providing you value. You don't want to hear about stuff that's not the actual valued part, right? But this, we are a business. The Human Design and Astral Club is a business and we're going to create tools that are going to benefit your life. 
I would never create something that didn't. It doesn't, it just doesn't. My spleen goes, Egh. I've been realizing, <laughs> been realizing the sounds and the sound difference lately between my spleen and my sacral. My spleen mm-hmm. goes, Egh, or yuck, or oh. And then my, my, my sacral goes, ugh, 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 or pfft. There's like, it's just like, I'm trying to blow the air out with the sacral and then the spleen's like, like spits it out. Like the spleen. <laughs> like it like tasted it. And then it was like, no. Yeah. yeah that's the spleen. And I- <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a great example. It, 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 I was thinking, I've been thinking about it for a while now. And I was like, and I was like, maybe I should do as a sacral being, because you know, we're so sound sound mm. beings i don't even know what the right words are but sound soundy we're so yeah we yeah we sound off so i was like maybe i should do like a reel or something on the sounds of all dissenters <laughs> yes like if they spoke they would say like the like the the root would go vroom, like you know vroom, vroom, you know <laughs> like it's like getting ready to start yeah. up yeah. but then the the actual sacral is like blowing the the hot air like out and then also like going like it's like it's like when I feel like it's turning on it's like it's like reaching it's like max speed or whatever and then the spleen's just like I feel like when my spleen like sends me a little hit it goes ah like I go ah like Mm. it's just like a jolt of energy you know Like, hey. Or, yeah, it's like a quick, or it's like, hello, are you out there? <laughs> that was for all my ASMR friends. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, maybe I'll do something about that. Although I've been, t- I've, I've unexpectedly this week, also we're in the past, guys, just so you're aware. So this is last week for you guys. Um, I unexpectedly have t- been taking a lot of breaths from Instagram lately just not showing up like either at all or like I think I made I made one I made one reel this week and I'm like who knows if I'll show up anytime after that there's some weird stuff going on with my stories that I've mm-hmm. told you about and I'm yeah. just like if if there's something going on with engagement right now for whatever the reason is and to be honest I don't care I'll never know the answer that's not that's my open head is finally like maybe y'all you don't need to know you won't ever actually know yeah so I'm just like uh, I actually was talking to somebody recently another entrepreneur and they told me that they're going to be leaving Instagram after 2022 in 20 January 2023 they're going to they're not going to delete that their Instagram but they're going to make just a bunch of posts and then like just let it be like they said their sounding board and they'll show up in their stories from time to time but that'll be it they're going to, they said they need to make better use of their time. And I was like, that's so weird that you say that. Cause I just said that to you yeah, um, as well, because their Instagram feels like the spleen constantly, constantly just going, ugh, 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 ugh. and I'm like, why do I want to do that? Now that I've had like a, an actual real taste of what the, of what a clean spleen feels like, like what it's like, because it the spleen, if you guys didn't know, it's the energetic like laundromat. It's filtering through. It's like the filtration system of our being. It's cleaning us out. It cleans us out. Yeah. And so if if you're not allowing yourself to be clean or cleaned out, whether you're open or defined, doesn't matter. It needs to be clean no matter what, right? And I feel like for defined, a lot of times, if we get stuck. When, in, when you're in, defined in the center, if it gets stuck in, on the same loop, it won't even, because it's, it's, it's almost like your definition is, it's already happening, right? It's consistent in you that if you don't realize it, it just becomes part of the background. And so then it's like, you don't even realize that you're, that you, you're, you're clogged in your defined spleen. I feel like for a long time, I didn't, I thought like, you know, like constipated spleen, this is where this is what it felt like that it that's was normal. 
for me. But now that I've been really deconditioning and I'm like, oh, this is what a clean spleen feels like. I'm like, I don't know if I can go back to that dirt. Yeah. I've, I, I feel like I'm still working on that. So <laughs> mine's not completely detoxed. No, so. no, I don't. And I don't think it ever gets complete. Like it, then it gets, you know, there's potential fillings or you, or something starts to fill that yeah. area again, but because you know what a clean spleen feels like, you're like, nope, let me just ring you right yeah. out. So it's not that it's not going to get, start to fill up again. It has to go through. Right. It has to do the process. whole deal all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't, I think I stayed for a long time in the filth because that's all like I you, do. Like you, you left your dirty laundry sitting in the washer for oh. too many years. Oh, speaking of, oh, oh my God, that my smell cognition just had a field day of like the, the, the men, the like mental aroma of what that, <laughs> <laughs> because like I smell like it, I I saw the image in my head and then I smelled and then it like went into my nose and I smelled yeah. it and I was like, oh, that's awful. But that is like, I got to say a smell cognition for me when people do that, where they, they let their, and I, and I've done it. I am not going to tell you that I've not done it, but then I rewash them. Okay. The, pe- yeah. the people that l- th- then put it in the dryer and then wear the clothes and yeah. I smell it has a stink to it shame on you <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not trying to shame anyone and this is not a real shaming I want to be very clear I have an open solar plexus don't come for me or do whatever you want I'll just block you uh- <laughs> it's more like maybe just give it another rinsey roux like just just Definitely. put it back through put another little load of, of soap in like, there and yeah it's like you know accidents give it happen. a whiff yeah yeah, yeah, definitely smell it. That you got it. If that happens, you know, because sometimes if it's a little bit longer, you can get something happen. I don't know what happens that time. You, there's times you can get away with it where it didn't happen. It didn't. It didn't start to mold yet for whatever reason. You caught it just on time. I've had this happen before to me. You do the smell test, and then you make the the conscious choice to either rewash or put it in the dryer. If there's any little sniff of stank. Mm-hmm you rewash you don't no no question about it unless you want to offend I mean if you do all power to you there's there's people that like to rub people the wrong way and if you ever want to rub me the wrong way leave your moldy clothes in the wash and then put them in the dryer and come next to me I will might throw up on you is what will happen (laughs) so be warned (laughs) be <laughs> and all of this is is jokes guys we like to joke on here yeah. we're hardly serious if i am serious you'll know i'll let you know there's usually not a whole lot of laughter <laughs> afterwards if i'm serious we just like i mean we gotta we gotta make jokes i know and i know like these days we're like so like uh politically correct constipated and for some things, for good reason, I'm not going to lie. There's some things we got to grow. We've got to grow as a society. But if I want to tell you that your your shit stinks and you need to take a little, you need to rinse it through another cycle, um, just laugh and move on or don't and fast forward or stop listening, whatever you choose. You know, I don't know. I'm not you. I'm not going to control you, but I'm really looking for people right now that are like, you know what, Crystal? You're for me. I, I I like your weirdness. I like your, you know, overly. I don't even know what the words are. I've lost words at this point. That you lose words. That you don't know what you're fucking saying. Half well, like you know what you're saying, but it's like there's a there's a lot running out of you that you're like, what's happening here? But you're like, I'm following you. Maybe not now. Okay, we're back. I can I can hear what you're saying again. And you find value in what I'm doing and you realize that my mission is to help people live a better life and to help you live a better life. And if that's something that you feel like you align to with me, then I'm probably for you and know that I'm probably going to share stuff that I love creating because I'm a generator. And when I'm here to do what I love and I'm here to expand 
other people in those things that I love. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of me. So I'm never going to stop sharing myself in any capacity. And if you don't like it, I'm peace signing you guys on YouTube. (laughs) (laughs) But if you do like it, come on in. Come on over. Come on over, baby. We also (laughs) sing a lot. Well, you sing a lot. I feel like I have songs going in my head all the time. Like if someone says something, I'm like, that's a song. (laughs) Yours are like external. Oh, yeah. Um, Did you ever watch what's it called? Um, Oh, my God. Uh, the new girl. Mm, I think I saw a few episodes. You oh always ask me a show and I've never seen it. Like, well, I swear well, at least you every said time you, we talk. At least you know what I'm talking about with this. I one. do know what you're talking about. Yes. I have seen a right. couple of them. I love, so Zoe, Zoe Deschanel, that's who's the star awesome. of the show. Mm-hmm. She is, she is one of my like all time favorite people, just mm-hmm. like hands down. One of my favorite people. Um, I've seen every movie she's been in. I, I, I've, I don't know how many times I've seen the new girl. Maybe I need it. That that's a, like such a wholehearted show. You should totally watch all of the seasons. Yeah. They're so good. Uh, maybe I'm going to go back to watch the, I had, it's been a long time since I've watched cause it's been off the air for, for years. Yeah. Um, but I've watched it since the beginning. I've watched her forever. She's in a, so she's a one, th- just so everybody knows, of course I looked up her chart. Um, she is a one, three emotional generator. That's awesome. And she has an undefined throat. Mm. And so that's where the singing comes from. She's a great singer too. And she's a great singer. And like, I, when I watch that show, cause it's, it's, it's basically her. That's she, that's her like in real yeah. life, like on the, yeah. like on the way she acts on the show, a little exaggerated, obviously, but it's her. Um, And I was like, holy shit. I feel like her. But like, you know, a little different, but I feel like, I'm like, oh shit, she's a one, three generator too, with an undefined throat. I have an open throat. Mm-hmm. She's just emotional because you can see the emotional wave that she takes people on. Yeah. Um, but it's just interesting when you can see parts of yourself and other people, and then mm-hmm. you get confirmation that, oh, there's a reason why I resonate with you is because we have something in common. Mm-hmm. She's very creative. She's got that third line creativity. I'd be curious to know her variables. Um, but yeah, I love her so much. Um, and I ate how she goes throughout that show singing the whole time, like just like in her part. I'm like, this is me all day fucking. <laughs> yeah. Um, so and that's why I did singing, dancing, and acting when I was a kid, because it's like we might as well like fucking use put some use to this. Yeah. Crazy person, like reels and and like I know people don't like doing reels or TikToks or whatever because of like the song and dance you have to do and I don't like being forced to do it the way I feel like Instagram starting to try to force people to do I don't like that at all because there's people out there like projectors for example I'm not saying all of them don't mind doing those things but it's not something that you guys really either want to do or consistently want to do and I don't want to as a Sagittarius sun five planets in Sagittarius Nobody puts me in a fucking box. So I'm at, and I'm a third line too. Do I never tell a fucking third line what to do? Mm-mm. So but the combination between all those things with myself, I'm like, do not tell me what to do. But I actually do actually love singing and dancing in front of people. And so that's why sometimes I'll get on my Instagram and dance. Uh, it's not a lot of times in my stories. But uh, I've been coming more out into the the reels. My my guides told me before TikTok and even reels was a thing. They told me to start dancing on the internet before any of this. TikTok didn't even exist at this point. This was probably, I'm trying to think how many years ago this was. Like maybe like five plus six, five or six years ago. And that I at that time, reels and tiktok was not a thing it's like where the fuck am i gonna dance (laughs) and it's like this is where bridge gate my bridge gate with my 10 connected to the 57 which is what merges my i have two splits the split is the 57 and the 51 and so i i and i don't know if you have if this happens to you because the 57 is also one of your merging gates Mm -hmm. as well uh, I randomly get these visions of like the future where they make no sense, 
Like, Mm -hmm. why would I see myself dancing in front of like a camera, you know, like, or like the phone? I was like, I I saw like, just like doing all these little dances. And I was just like, who, like, why would I, I said to myself, why would I do that? (laughs) Here you are. (laughs) And I'm like, if I would have just caught on sooner, maybe I could have like, you know, invented TikTok and been a trillionaire by now. Right. Because that was like the first thing was like TikTok was like do dances. Yeah. Like COVID 2020 TikTok. Yeah. It was before All that dances. though that I got this, yeah, this yeah. vision. Interesting. So, yeah. That stuff happens to me all of the time. I had the vision of moving here to North Carolina. When I came here to visit, it was the strangest thing in the middle of a shop. Also go back and listen to my solo episode on environments such a beautiful episode I got a lot of great feedback on that one no idea what number it is just scroll you'll see it um <laughs> but anyways I talk about that I I was in a in a coffee shop in the city that we actually moved near and I got this splenic because the 57 comes from the spleen right I got this splenic hit that was like this is the place I was like what huh? you're going to move here. Like just like little whispers and glimpses. I get little mini, uh, like I hear something through almost like the 43 is auditorial. Um, and so I'll hear it words and then like the spleen will give me glimpses of the, the future. It's like flashes. And it's like, if I don't pay attention, if I don't, because the spleen's also an awareness center. So if I don't pay attention in that moment, I'll miss what I just saw. And the funniest and weirdest thing, but also how I know this is, I am in alignment with all of this is the people that we bought this house from, which is like my dream house. Like I, I, I never would have imagined I would have been able to get this house, but anyways, is the name of that city that Mm -hmm. I got that splenic hit in. Mm -hmm. That is their name. So cool. And I was like, wow. <laughs> like what? Like, you know, if we just listen sometimes, we get the messages that we need. And so I yeah. held on to that moment. I never forgot it. And so when I stepped into this house and I looked at the name of the, of the owners, and I was like, no. And then that's when the sacral said, yes. (laughs) (laughs) And yeah, so it's, it's a real, it's really interesting if you can just align to your design, get on your fucking geometry that I was following the transits before that. I told you guys my story in the past where I worked at the Kabbalah center. I have a Kabbalistic background. I worked there for three and a half years and that's where I learned about the transits and astrology. That's how I know a lot of just let's be real weird shit. Okay. Um, so it's all from that. And I've been following it since 2014. And I feel like just like the lot, like probably before we found each other is when I really started to be like, I need to, I need to really merge human design and astrology together and started watching the transits through those lenses together. And that's when I was like, oh, this is real. This is like really real. And it's changed my life. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I can't, it's changed my life. I remember when you told me that I should start following them and I was like, Oh, that was mm. funny. I remember that day actually. I have no no nothing. I was like, That's... I know nothing about anything. And this is all really confusing to me. And now very confusing for you. And I was yeah. like, no, let me let me break it down for you. There's a very yeah. easy way to understand this. And I've yeah. thought about a few times. And you know, if this if this feels good for whoever's listening to this right now and you want to reach out to the Human Design Astro Club and and let us know. You can DM us on Instagram or write us an email. You can find all, all of our information down below. But I've thought about, you know, it'd be a fun, nice live like Zoom class is a class on the on the basics of the transits mm-hmm. and how to read the transits. So if this is something you'd love to join us on, like how to read, how to actually interpret the transits, 
you know, shoot us a DM or uh, write us an email. And maybe it'll be something that we can add to the list of 2023. Surprisingly, I haven't made it that long yet. <laughs> Shocking, actually. I'm even surprised. Well, because we're doing the intensive, so I don't want to overwhelm yeah. too much. But I love to do little classes like that where they're just like an hour or so long. And just, we meet on zoom, we all chat, like, you know, we do a lecture and then we, we open it up to questions. I'd love to mm-hmm. be able to talk to people about the transits. So if that's something you're interested in you, in a little, 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 little. I'm oh, sorry, wow. words, I've been talking a lot today. So <laughs> if that's something you're interested in, let us know. So, and I want, I wanted to, and we're not going to do it now because I've been jabbering on, but I would love to talk to you guys about my therapy session or my, my, me now entering into therapy because it's been, I had my first session today and actually I'll tell you guys this real quick though. So I told this to Leah and I was, I was, I was on the phone with you a few times that this was happening. My phone was being blown up at, between my text messaging and my email of cancellations of, of this fucking appointment for today that I, that I had my first therapy appointment it was my first therapy appointment. I haven't been in therapy in like 15 years and I'm like, damn, I really need this. And I, and I pick up my phone and I start seeing like that my, my appointment is now in two different times and they're both being canceled <laughs> multiple times throughout the day. <laughs> I was, so I said to my, and there so much, so much in, ha- happened after that with that. So we're not going to get into that part. But I, I said to my uh, therapist today when I met her, I, on, I do it online with her. And so I said, was that part of the therapy? Because <laughs> okay. I was like, because it worked. I was like, if you were trying to trigger me with my, you know, rejection and abandonment issues, I mean, you nailed it. You nailed it. I was like, was that part? I was <laughs> because I really felt it. And she laughed as my, my therapist has a sense of humor. I cannot have a therapist that doesn't, I can't mm-hmm. have, I just can't do it. And she goes, yeah, it was exposure therapy. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. Good answer. I was like, yes. I said, you just throw people into the fire, mm-hmm. throw people into the fear. And like, they have to sink or swim. But I'm like, if anyone's going to throw a third line into the fire, they're going to walk out like guns blazing. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to be like, I'm, I'm, I'm reborn. Yeah. Um. So yeah. And then after I had my therapy session, I listened to a sad song about loneliness because it's my core wound, my unconscious Mars, your unconscious Mars is your core wound and also your vocation. And so uh, then I looked at the transits. You want to hear You want to, you want to hear how, how, how like on point, first of all, how on point the transits are and then how much I'm aligned to them at the same time. I looked at the transits at the moment that I was like feeling all these feelings and crying about being alone. Cause I always cry about that. Um, also I'm married with two kids. Just don't try to figure it out. Okay. But I'm crying about that. And then I look at the transits. The moon is in the 40, the sixth line. 40.6. Mm-hmm. I was like, no fucking way. Mm. So it's just, it's like, we. I can't make this shit up if I tried. It's just so, it's, it, it's working. It's literally working, whether we like it or not. It's move, the transits are moving us, whether we like it or not. And mm-hmm. we can either enjoy the ride or we can suffer. Yeah. So then I decided to record myself (laughs) because I want to start sharing with you guys my therapy and what I'm experiencing, what I'm going through, any breakthroughs that I'm having. The 60 has now entered the building of the program and that, that is my unconscious moon. And so And it's all about roadblocks that are from traumatic experiences, from difficulty at the beginning. And so I'm now being faced with things from my past that have blocked me. 
That's what's happening right now. And so I decided to record something because we are starting, if you're for all, I, I find it so interesting that we have a bunch of people hopping over to YouTube right now because we're starting a vlog on here. This is, we're going about, we're about to encourage Leah right now because we put together this last month, a bunch of videos that we're going to be turning into vlogs. It's called the human design desires. Oh my gosh. I cannot talk. <laughs> like, okay. Let's try this again. The human design diaries. Um, this is deconditioning. That's what the title is going to be. So it's going to be a lot of me crying. Um, but with explanation, um, not just like just. <laughs> there's not. I think there's only a couple from this month or yeah. Last month. We, we're gonna tr we're gonna give you the emotional roller coaster that my open solar plexus and Leah's undefined solar plexus gets taken on throughout the month because mm -hmm. even though we're not emotionals, we get to amplify that shit, right? So we're gonna show you what that looks like. That's why this is called this is deconditioning because we are going through our experiment with you showing you the hard times also showing you the good times and help you feel empowered to go through your own experience so definitely subscribe to our youtube channel i'm saying this now because i'm encouraging leah to get this together we have a lot but i will say we do have a lot of stuff going on um on the back end and also our lives right now so you know, we have to go at our own pace. We're on defined roots, but this is something that we want to start doing with you guys and start sharing our experiences more. So it's we'll next on that. the to-do list. Look out for that. <laughs> so I guess let's jump into sure. this week. So. Hello friends. Guess what? We have a really special holiday sale running through this weekend on the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th. You will be able to pick up any of our classes, our offers for 20% off. Can you believe it? All right, so you'll be able to pick up any of our variable classes. So that includes our environment class, our determination class, and our cognition class. You'll be able to pick up our kids class. You'll be able to pick up our language manual. If you, Even if you wanna pick up the program plus for this month, it's gonna be 20% off. There is one offer that will not be discounted, but it does come with a special discount once the purchase, and that's our Crystal Grid class. That's the only class that's not discounted but everything else is 20% off if you want to pick it up this weekend. So make sure you subscribe to our email list so you can be the first to know and head over to thehumandesignastro.com on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and pick up your class. We'll see you over there then, friends. So, we start off the beginning of the week, Monday, the 21st with a sense of dignity. Okay. That can also be associated with arrogance. Okay. This is our focus at the beginning of the, of the week, because this is part of this particular energy is the motor that turns on the vehicle kind of important. And this is, this is the focus at the beginning of the week and the, and also the week um, this connection is also connecting, making a direct connection to our North node right now. Also a big deal. Um, because the North node is about to leave, but at the beginning of the week, it is sitting in our higher self. It's sitting in the driver. It's the seat of the driver. Okay. And so it is driving our vehicle right now with forward movement, because at the end of the week, we're changing nodal axes. Okay. The nodal axis will change. So this is a prime time right now to be focused on your life direction. What, what is grounding you this week? What's grounding us in our voice, our expression, and the way we contribute, the way we inspire. This is what's going to create the shift for you this week. And really, like I said, create the mo momentum to continue to move you forward on your geometry. So Tuesday, we enter into a new program that will focus on our power. 
This is the power that drives our vehicle. This is your inner warrior. And it wants to empower you to express yourself because that's exactly what the earth will be grounding you in, in your truth. I am now, it's it, it's saying to you or it's saying to, you're, you're saying to yourself, excuse me, I am now. And what this is trying to do for you is, is to focus you that will empower you to move towards your truth. This will be a time to witness yourself in the now to know when and how to take action, which is going to be really important because we have a new moon this week. So we also have just recently had Mars retrograde back into our resources, which is very, very fascinating to me. And I'll be curious to see how this is going to play out in the collective. This is a place to watch what's going on in the collective right now. And I'll give you guys more information on this gate um, and how it's going to continue to affect us because we have till January with Mars retrograding. So next month for the month of December, we'll get into this a little bit more in the program plus. So look out for that. And this is the key to harmony on the community, but it's going to be reflecting in this place and trying to push past some hard anger, aggression, and frustration. So ask yourself from now until January, when Mars goes direct, where am I facing resistance and also boundaries? Where have you been feeling closed off? Where have you, um, you might feel some sort of even resistance with your resources or sharing. I think there's going to be some sort of resistance towards sharing with this Mars retrograde placement. So we also have on Tuesday, the sun entering into Sagittarius. And I couldn't be more happy because I'm a Sagittarius if you didn't know. Um, So this means that there will be a new moon Sagittarius on the horizon, which will be on Wednesday, the 23rd. So let's dive into that. You ready? So new moons, they are all about new beginnings, planting seeds for the next six months. That's what you want to envision when we enter into a new moon cycle. Okay. So with this happening in Sagittarius, this is a mutable fire sign. So whenever I think of fire, I think of action driven. Okay. So this is an action driven sign and it's mutable. So that means it's inviting you to not only take action on your goals and ambitions, but it also does not want to be confined to a box. Okay. Because if you look at the symbol of Sagittarius, you'll notice that it's an arrow being shot off into the unknown, which is kind of what we're feeling like right now, right? We're all kind of feeling this right now. And this is going to be about taking risks, or this is a good time to, to ponder on the next risk that maybe you're going to take for the next year. Okay. So this will be about recalibrating your system. Sagittarius is inviting you to cultivate your dreams and ambitions right now. Where can you apply more meaning to your life during this new cycle? Where can you envision for your future with the glass half full instead of half empty? This will be about taking your power back. The number one theme, and I said this at the beginning of the program plus, that this month was all about power between Scorpio and Sagittarius. And Sagittarius at the end of this month is really offering us an opportunity to take our power back. And so the main focus of this new moon is going to be power, okay? this So this will be about being so magnetic and so unique that you will move with a full body. Yes. You will move with a full body of authenticity towards your dreams and goals. Okay. And we will have the support of the earth. This is, this is a beautiful synergy happening with this new moon. So ignore any negativity, <laughs> like stay because, because Sagittarius is a happy go lucky, positive sign. So stick with that end for this new moon and you will be good. Okay. Don't listen to anybody else telling you negative Nilly, Nancy, whatever stuff. Okay. We're losing it at this point. I can't talk soon. So anyways, so this is going to be about support from the earth during this transit and providing us a chance to be in the now 
the earth is going to help us hold the pose. That's what I think. Like the earth is like, okay, like get out your spirit fingers and your razzle dazzle of Sagittarius. And if you're looking at me on YouTube right now, we're going to hold the fucking pose together. Okay. So the earth is going to help us hold the pose and what, and what do, and really asking ourselves, excuse me with my words, you guys are going to have to just follow, just follow. Okay. What do I want to become is a beautiful question to ask yourself for this moon. Okay. For this new moon. And if you did pick up the program plus, don't forget to check out the rituals in the guidebook. So I'll be sharing mine in my stories. And also for anybody else that's listening that would like to see my stories, I'll be sharing my rituals and my stories for the new moon. Um, and, and what I do, I have the 515 channel, which is all geared toward rituals, routines, and rhythms. And so also thank you so much to those that did share their crystal grids from last month. So I'll be sharing mine. I'd love to see yours. So if you do make a crystal grid, and you want to tag us on Instagram, the Human Design Astro Club. We'd love to see it, and um, we love we love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much for people that shared their grids from this last cycle, the full moon, the eclipse. So also, it's going to be a really powerful time. Um, and like I said, I'm looking forward to this new moon because I'm a Sagittarius Sun with five planets in Sagittarius. So we are entering into the month of miracles. Okay. A lot of people say, you know, that's why December has such a joyous, like when you think about it, especially towards the beginning of the month, right. There's such this joyous, like, um, expansive feeling. Like it, we, we think it's, it, it, there's a reason why the holidays are during that time. If you like really look at the cycles connected to a lot of the, uh, the ways that society has built in these traditions, or systems, or whatever it is, all connected to the fucking transits, okay? So we're entering into the month of miracles, and so sky's the limit. And what's another beautiful thing that's happening this week is Jupiter is going to be stationing direct on the 24th. And so again, I couldn't be more happy about this because Jupiter rules Sagittarius, and it's giving us the forward movement to expand and grow these seeds that we just planted for the new cycle. So it's not a coincidence that this is happening. So we did have a brief um, mental and we do have a brief, I'm sorry, not we did, we do, excuse me. We do have a brief mental inspiration that comes in on Sunday, the 27th, when the nodes also shift into the returning. Um and which is a, is going to be all about moving towards moving towards a new concept and then we're moving away from the fear of the past you might feel something something that's going to feel like it's almost like haunting your dreams okay and we go more into depth on the nodes in the program plus so definitely feel free to pick it up and check it out if it feels good for you and sunday we're going to go move move through um the nodes for the next few months. So allow your mind for the next th few months to run, stare off into the unknown and don't try to make sense of things. Okay. When this is happening, clear away your past patterns and watch how you begin to line, align your vehicle on your geometry. And that's basically Oh wait. No. Nope. Hold on. I wrote, I, th I thought I was done here, but I wrote one more thing. And then towards the end of Sunday, we enter into a new program. Totally forgot about this. So sorry. We enter into a new program. There's a lot of, we're go we go through like three programs. <laughs> so like, crazy. We're at the end of one at the beginning of the week. We enter another one and then we enter another one. So anyways, Sunday, we enter into a new program with the focus on the way we see detail, the way we focus on detail. What begins to catch your eye is a good question to ask yourself when, when we enter into this new program and we're being grounded in our skills and our expression of those skills. This next cycle is really going to have the potential to expand your creativity in ways you never thought that was possible. So there's a lot happening this week, but it seems like a lot of really great expansive forward movement. And so so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it.
I feel like the cards that I picked, because I picked them at the beginning, they are just kind of like confirming and kind of bundling up everything that you said into like one little package. So <clears throat> I pulled the four of wands, which is about um, celebration, mm -hmm. um, new beginnings. And on the card itself, you can see it looks like maybe they're at a wedding or a celebration of some sort. Um, for relationships, it could mean that you're building new relationships. It could be that you're finding new support systems um, or that you're strengthening your relationships with other people and maybe there's gatherings i know for myself i've got a freaking birthday party every weekend yeah. and it's a lot but i i love celebrating other people and i love um you know being a part of that plus we also have our own like personal our own house has the birthday every month coming up um like every week Every week, it seems like there's something we just got invited to another one, which we can't make it to. But um, so then for like your career, it could mean that you're celebrating some sort of success, you're celebrating something new, or maybe you got a, a raise or you're moving jobs or um, you're making new friends at your job. Maybe you're new there and you might be making new friends at your job. So there could be, um, you know, also a, a financial aspect to this card too, where maybe you're, um, you know, seeing things as like gift giving and the more like when you're giving, you feel good, you know, you get kind of like that um, benefit of, you know, helping someone else out. I know for myself, even if like I'm at a register and they're like, do you want to donate a dollar to whatever, if it's something that I feel good about, I'll absolutely donate a dollar to that that foundation or whatever it is. Um, or, you know, I've been, huh? So I always donate. Yeah, I do. Like, it's just it's, like, what's what's an extra dollar for me? Like, someone could use the dollar to, you know, puts toward research to something else. Um, so or, um, you know, donating your time, it could be just like little things here or there with the holidays coming up. Maybe there's, you know, some sort of way that you can donate your time. We have, I'm always giving away my old stuff, the kids old stuff to family members or to people in need. Um, so even if it's not me financially giving to someone, I am still finding a way. Anyway, so that doesn't mean necessarily this week, but it could be. This could be the start of maybe finding something for yourself that you can celebrate or give back to somebody um, and those around you. So then the second card is from, what is this called? I don't think I've ever shown this. So here's YouTube. This is called the Work Your Light Deck Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. She's got two different decks, if anybody cares. Um, I really like these cards. They're just really pretty. So the card I picked, I'm looking at the wrong thing, is called the Initiation. And it says the rite of passage crossing the threshold. So some of the most sacred initiation chambers and temples look scary from the outside, but are breathtakingly beautiful on the inside. This represents the journey of the soul that the, that the soul pilgrim is required to take to reach somewhere sacred. So not only can the initiated enter, but perhaps this is where you are right now. You're being tested. You're being initiated because you are headed somewhere sacred. Initiations are requ require that we cross the threshold from one world or one state to the next. We are called to face what scares us, and we have to be willing to lose it all in order to gain a new way of being, a new way of safety, security, depth, and meaning. Initiations like rites of passage mark the shift from one age to the next and can take place because emotional turmoil, great loss, grief, or dev devastation is happening. But it is through the seemingly hard hardships that our heart cracks wide open and our spirit is invested to step forward. We take the sacred voyage into more of who we are and who we came here to be. And it can be painful and scary, but once we begin the journey, we can be more ourselves than ever before. If you're in the middle of an initiation right now, you will get through it. And one day soon, you will bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. And you're going somewhere sacred. It will be worth it. And you're closer than you think. Um, there's another card. What is it called? Um, 
it, it, there's another one in here. It's like the, a rose and it's required, you know, it's like, think of yourself as a flower or something like you need to open up, you need to crack yourself open and, you know, share the beauty within yourself because, you know, we have to kind of, and then like crumbling, you know, kind of like the tower card, like we do kind of have to crumble. We can't build everything on a crumbly foundation. Like we have to, at some point, let go of what no longer is serving us and go through this initiation, this rite of passage from the dark, icky, grossness, you know, butterfly cocoon stage to the other side, you know, to the blossom of the other side. So this is making me think of Jupiter going direct this week, Mm. which is in gate 25, which is connected to the 50. If it's not connected to the 51, but it connects to the 51, which creates the channel of initiation, which is all about um, entering into, into almost like the darkness to shock you, to wake you up. It's all about being shocked into the initiation process of yeah. that entering into that beauty at the core of love is beauty. Everything is love. And at the core of that is beauty. And it's not about physical beauty. It's about this internal beauty, this essence that lives inside of you. And I believe that's what that card was totally pointing towards. Was that. Yeah. And, you know, maybe if you are going through that, like it said, like you're going to make it through it. And then four of wands, like celebrate the, the, even if it's like a little tiny, like, oh my gosh, I feel better today. Like that's a celebration itself. Recognize yourself projectors. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Everybody, everybody, Everybody. especially the projectors, the only way to get recognized, I believe for a projector is to first recognize themselves. hundred percent. 100%. 100%. I can say when I start to feel better, like when I'm like, no one's seeing me from my beautiful scales. I'm like, Leah, are you seeing yourself? Like, are you rec- like, am I genuinely recognizing myself for the things that I can do or that I'm doing or whatever it is that I'm trying to, like, I don't need to go and clean the half side of my house and then ask people to come and look at it and celebrate me. Like, I will literally do that. I'll be like, come look at what I've done. Come, come <laughs> recognize me. I'll say it out loud. I'm like, this is like, why am I doing this? Like, I can just be recognizing myself. I mean, it, it does feel good to be recognized for cleaning something up, but you know, there's different ways. And for all of us, like it's, it is important for projectors to, you do, you should try it out see how it feels recognize, recognize yourself. yourself the recognition will come to you try it also like what we were just talking about at the beginning of the episode like i don't like to put it's coming from the generator ed i don't like putting things out that i'm not excited about and if you're not excited about what you're doing whatever it is whether you're a projector you're a generator or you're any of the other types or whatever if you're not excited about like who you are what you're doing what you're offering whatever it is, then nobody else is going to be excited either. Nobody else is going to recognize you either. If you're not recognizing yourself, Mm -hmm. nobody else is going to be excited about what you're doing as a generator. If you're not excited about what you're doing yourself, you're not actually passionate about what you're doing yourself. So I, I, I tend to attract people that are ready to upgrade that are ready to take their lives to the next level that are ready to work through roadblocks because a big thing that we do is we help people enter into their version of success whatever that is because that's what human design grants you and with both of us having the channel of surrender the channel of the entrepreneur we're able to show you where maybe this is you you need a you need to shift or change things around here maybe you need to look at some past patterns or situations that maybe you haven't been able to face that then it'll show you where your actual heart is and what you actually want. And a lot of times people with the channel of the entrepreneur, they, they sell to the tribe. That's what they do on what, what they want, but then what they're going to end up needing, because it's going to end up upgrading the tribe. So That's it. I just kind of, I think of like a, like a, say like Nike didn't make commercials that were like eye appealing. They were just like, here's a shoe. 
It's a really good shoe. You should buy this shoe. <laughs> like then the like how many people are really going to go over and be like, "Yeah, I really need that really boring shoe because that yeah. person was really bored, but I think I need that shoe." It's like, "No, you got to actually like tell people why the shoe is really great. Like how can yeah. this impact your life? How can it improve how your game? Your life how can you run it? faster? Like all those things and like make it really fun and appealing and that's all of that excitement behind it. And that's what advertising is in general. It's like, no one's going to be like, I've got this really great thing. Hold on. Let me read you. Let me read you the list here. You should have it. (laughs) Yeah. Is my voice appealing to you? Yeah. Interested? Interested? Okay, cool. (laughs) (laughs) If any generators are just like selling like that, like my friend. Yeah. Are you passionate? Are you excited? <laughs> Are you excited about that thing you made or that product you're selling for whatever reason? Even if you're selling someone else's product, you better be fucking excited about that shit. If you're mm-hmm. not, no one's going to want it. Okay. Yeah. That means that your shit's stanky. Okay. Yeah. And you need to go r- run it through the wash cycle. One more time. <laughs> okay. We're done here. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, we do hope that you guys allow yourself to contemplate this week and especially for the next few months as these nodes shift on really what where you want to expand and grow. Where do you see your future self going? Where do you need to like clean up some past uh, patterns that maybe have been holding you? They've been on a loop for a long time and maybe it's time to revisit them so that you can move past them. So have a good week. You guys got this. And uh, I guess we'll see you over on the next one. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Crystal and I are really here as defined hearts to provide value to you with our unique insights. If you have found any of this episode valuable to you, we ask that you share with a friend, tag us with a highlight on Instagram, and write us a review so we can reach more people. Human design and astrology are tools to guide us toward our transformation. You are a unique and beautiful being, and we encourage you to let that light inside of you shine bright. See you in the next episode, friends.